Richard Southern joins us to talk about some fun Friday topics. And Richard, Richard this one uh, is a little weird here. A story that involves a nudist and wild boar. This probably doesn't end very well, does it? No, you may want to avert your eyes for this. I don't know, but uh, this is um, we're going out. We're going out there on this one. This is a German man and all his bits and pieces now famous, Melissa. Oh after, boy! <laughs> after he chased down a wild boar who stole his belongings at a nude sunbathing park in Berlin, Germany. <laughs> we've, we've, we've been good. We've censored it for you. Uh, the man can be seen running full on after the boar, who he said ate his pizza before making off with his laptop bag. I hate it when that happens. I That's really aggressive, do. aggressive behavior oh, from this boar. Anyways, um, the man was swimming. The boar came and took his stuff. He he did track the boar down, got his got his <laughs> laptop back, and uh, all ended well. But um, you know, you could say a lot about our stories that we talk about, but they're never boring. Get it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that, that's a dad joke if I ever heard one there, Richard. Terrible. Uh, well, and I feel like I've seen everything. Now, Mike Tyson is stepping out of the boxing ring and into the water to face his next opponent. He's going to fight a shark, okay. Melissa. I kid you not. So Discovery Channel's hugely popular Shark Week kicking off this weekend, and it's going to start with a show that's called Tyson vs. Jaws Rumble on the Reef. And it's going to feature the 54-year-old <laughs> aging boxer facing off with a shark underwater. And Tyson says in this commercial we're looking at, he says, and I quote, somebody's going to get bit. Of course, oh, Tyson no. famously bit the ear off of Evander Holyfield many years ago. Now, Discovery Channel Melissa says no sharks will be harmed. It's not clear exactly how the bout will go down. Will you be watching, Melissa? I think I'm intrigued after seeing that and the sparkle in his tooth and everything. He's just, he he got me here now. I, I, I want to see everything, and here we go. <laughs> he recently said that he's going to get back in the ring to face human opponents. He's 54 years old, but I think Tyson's got a case of the shorts, if you know what I mean. <laughs> he's short a few bucks, so that's why he's getting back in the ring and in the ocean, Melissa. Well, I admire uh, his bravery there. Now, a box of basketball cards has sold for a record amount of money, and one extremely valuable card could be inside that box. So, like, basketball cards are the hottest investment all of a sudden. And sort of highlighting that is the fact that this box of 86, 87 Fleer basketball cards just sold for $1.7 million at auction. Melissa, this box contains 432 individual cards. And what the reason people pay are paying big money for this is they believe there are 32 Michael Jordan rookie cards in there. And those cards now can fetch about $99,000 each. They've gone up in value since that Last Dance Jordan documentary came out. So these are the hottest things. They think the cards are, you know, extra popular now because we didn't have sports for a few months and people were really you know, concentrating on the cards. Did you collect anything when you were a kid that might be valuable, Melissa? I did have, remember Pogs? I collected a whole bunch of Pogs, Pogs. Um, back in the day, and I had some Sailor Moon cards and Pokemon cards. When, when well, that Pokemon was cool. cards can actually be very valuable if you have the right ones, so I understand. I definitely don't have them anymore, but <laughs> hey, if I did, maybe I could be a multimillionaire. Who knows, right? Go and search around. You, this might be your ticket out of here, your Pokemon <laughs> cards, Melissa. <laughs> Probably. Well, thanks so much, Richard. We'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend.